pristine and wildly beautiful rainforest alive with birdsong and ancient trees. A deep, moody river sparkling through the mists. And a unique breed of people, fiercely independent and rich in character, all combined to make the Bola Gorge Marathon event of the year for Westport. So it's 12 months of the year to organise this event. It starts with Dennis Straker, our race organiser, and he does all the main sponsors and, and what have you. Um, then comes through to all the helpers and volunteers. Probably got close on 500 volunteers working on it with um, St John's Ambulance and people on drink stations and timekeepers and the whole community gets out and helps us every year. 32 crates of orange, there's 114 crates of water, over 100 bottles of meat, so crates of generally all day to fill them. We started at 9. started at 9 o'clock this morning, probably won't be finished till 4 o'clock at least this afternoon. Well, we're filling water bottles and putting, packing them into the crates, and the trucks will take them down. I'm also going to get sponges, and there's jumps for empty water bottles, and there's also juice bottles. This is a story about Westport, a vibrant west coast town at the mouth of the Buller River, on the shores of the Tasman Sea. After 12 months organising, the only job left is sweeping the Buller Bridge in preparation for the thousands of feet that will run across it tomorrow. As it has for every marathon for 19 years, it dawns fine. By 5 a.m., the volunteers are out setting up the drink stations. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're half, all serious. At the half, they're slapping each other and meeting people they haven't met for a year, and Aye. some are having a smoke, and some are diving into the toilet. It's, um, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Back in town, the runners are starting to board the convoy of buses that will take them out to the start line. Special welcome to any overseas competitors and to those who have travelled from other parts of the country to be with us today. The early morning tranquility of the Buller Gorge is soon to be disturbed by 50 busloads of long distant athletes who have travelled from all corners of New Zealand to enter. The marathon event began in 1983 with only 360 entries. The appeal was widened to include walkers, wheelchair athletes, relay runners, social competitors and a mini marathon for the children and now attracts over 2,000 competitors. Every year on the second Saturday in February, roughly 2,000 people line up for the Buller Gorge Marathon. It's the first marathon of the season, an event runners use as a measuring stick, a first opportunity to test their metal. The half marathon is a one-way run starting near the Ohika Iti River Bridge and also finishing at Victoria Square.
In fact, there are two starts. The full marathon commences at Hawke's Crag and first heads up the gorge to a turning point near Berlin's hotel. What a day to celebrate your 40th birthday. Just came to the party <laughs> afterwards, yeah. yeah. The party's pretty good, so, you know, the run's just incidental. Uh, it's the slave driver here. <laughs> As well as the full marathon runners, there are 60 four-person relay teams, each member running 10k before handing over a sash to his teammate. The most popular event is the half marathon, with 2,000 participants, some spurred on by the $500 bonus offered as an incentive to break the eight-year half marathon record. You've got five minutes, two. Both races start at 8.30. just said, please get behind the line, we'll get this ball game on the roll. <laughs> Anybody not behind the line will be disqualified, thank you. Ten, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, six five, four, three, two, Phil Costley breaks away and opens up a big lead on the rest of the pack. The, the event's been going 19 years. I've been, I've been involved 18 years and I've been race organiser 15 of 19 years. Full-time job, yeah, 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 absolutely. You know, uh, you know, eight o'clock start in the morning and uh, eleven o'clock finish at, at night time. We always are striving to do things better, better for the competitors. I think that's what keeps, keeps me going because we're always doing something different. Phil Costley stands a good chance of breaking the record and claiming that bonus. The full marathon starts at Hawke's Crag and first heads up the gorge, then back down the scenic undulating Buller Gorge Highway to finish at Victoria Square, Westport. Just after Berlin's hotel, the full marathon runners turn and head back down the gorge for Westport. Yeah, it's a lovely course, you know, great, uh, great scenery, so uh, well worthwhile running. So brilliant, absolutely brilliant.
it's good yeah it's nice here yeah. it's a lovely run through the gorge i mean it's got to be one of the best around Just on the bike today, yeah. So it was good. Just go out and give her a bit of support. Great day for it. Most of the course is a gentle downhill run that follows the river, but there is no, one it's not tough downhill hill. Like they say, it's uphill. It's a lie. <laughs> As the half marathon runners close in on Westport, Phil Costley has opened up a massive lead. And I thought the, um, the water crews and that, the kids hanging out, the sponges and that, did a great, great job. And it's a goal, because I sort of like need goals if I'm going to run, so the motivation, so this sort of each year sort of keeps me motivated to run. <laughs> Yeah, but it's a great thing for Westport, really is. And the accommodation is booked out because of the population explosion here. Because I didn't wear the polar bear suit, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, very enjoyable event, and um, you know, um, it, it's up to people, to the runners, to put a bit of colour into the occasion, as well as all the organisers to you know provide it for us. So yeah, I been really feel privileged to come and take part in the half marathon. And it shows people actually what a good, friendly atmosphere can be run at one of these venues. It's a lovely atmosphere and we all enjoy it. I thought it was wonderful how the people were cheering when we came down the streets. Mm -hmm. Felt like a wee star for about two months. Friendly and clapping all the people who are running past. It's a really great spirit of community. Runners starting to come through very fast at the moment. We can't give you every runner, but we'll try. Excellent, yeah, great course. Yeah, wonderful, we did really well. Really happy to be here, it was a great day. Super conditions. Yeah, well, I was hoping to do one and a half, under one and a half, and I did 129.57, so I, I didn't leave a lot to spare when I got there. But you have earned the beer now, though. Oh, bloody oath, I'm looking forward to the beer, that's for sure. <laughs> Wasn't too bad. Weather was good. Yeah, not too hot. It's always a bit of a struggle when you get to my age. Yep, it's a great event, and uh, it's always uh, always put on the good weather for us. So uh, 
It's well worth coming over from Christchurch. Yeah. Uh, Pretty the time by about five minutes from last year, so I was happy with that. Well, I, I did really well, actually. I thought I'd finished in about two hours, but came in a one hour 54, so I was quite pleased. Yeah. I thought the bacon and eggs were lovely, actually. But seriously. It was hot. Oh, no. It was hard. Hot and hard. So the children's mini marathon will be starting very, very shortly. Got all the certificates here for the for the mini marathons. Yeah, they come in and they get a, a certificate in a Moro bar and a can of drink. Approximately <laughs> 450 kids participating in the uh, in that mini marathon. We put them through the shoots, same as the the big marathon, that makes them feel like they're part of the part of the day. Huh? <laughs> all those mums and dads. Grandparents out here, thank you for helping me out. Yep, over here to help Sport Buller uh, dish out the milk to the kids this afternoon. So you it's good to come back. It's a good, it's a good event, great event. Food's today, doesn't it? You know, the numbers that we got, and I think that's why they keep coming back. We're doing things for them. <laughs> from Wellington. Um, this is my seventh year and my husband's 11. 11. We've done the marathon several times before and the half. You know, you keep coming back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> insane. <laughs> Could be nuts, I think. <laughs> uh, it's a nice atmosphere over here. It really is. Oh, yeah. I'll have a few beers now and sit back and enjoy the rest of the day. Oh, yeah. The beer tent and Tony's fish and chips. <laughs> That's what makes it good. Stones are piss. Really? Yeah, too easy. Yeah, yeah I should have gone harder about the middle of the race. It's all right in the beginning, it's a bit overcast. Suddenly you see the river in the distance and you think you need it there, so you hang in there. And the last three four days was just a few cuts. Um, and it's a very friendly event and that's why everybody likes coming and it's really great to see all the people that you've been running with over the years and who's still hanging in there. Catching up with everybody in town that we haven't seen for a while. Good family day. Love it. Always got good weather too. The finish. <laughs> very hard, very good and very well organised. It's my fifth year, um, and it's one of those sort of committees, once you're involved you just can't get away from it. We just get on so well and we all know our part and we go for it. If we have a complaint, we fix it. Check his entry form, Nick. One, one five nine oh. It's the hospitality of the Westport people that just really bring it together. Yeah, that's what the people come back for. Hey, I just came okay. here. <laughs> one to come to. We travel about 300k to come here. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been a wonderful day. I decided I was going to do it before I turned 30, and that's in a month's time, so <laughs> I managed it. <laughs> oh, the best thing would be the weather and all the locals coming out and having a great day. Fun. Yeah, it is always fun. It's a lovely day. Westport, a friendly atmosphere. Tonight around town, you'll you'll see it. They just walk around pub to pub. It's just Westport. It's just the friendly people. It's a really social event, and that's why people like coming back. Race record of one hour, three minutes and nine seconds for Papua New Bill Cosley. Brilliant day. It's my first time to Westport, and I'm going to remember this for a while. I think. Um, first, firstly, I'd like to thank all those, like, like we thank before the volunteers out there, the guys in the drink stations. They did a brilliant job. The pace cars, they kept everyone out of my way so I could go about my business. Uh, made things a lot easier. The course. A brilliant scenic course um, and a brilliant day. Brilliant. <laughs> Moving along, the half marathon woman, the winner, and that is Eva Marie Bonner from Switzerland. Well, I travelled a couple of months in New Zealand. This was my last day here. So I have to thank everybody that this, that this was really a high point in my whole travelling. Thank you very much. The first in the marathon means the winner, Michael Rowe. Michael won the Fuller Gold Marathon for 2001. The reason it's coming back year after year is that you do a really fantastic job organizing it. I think it makes it pleasurable for everyone. So I'd just like to congratulate all the competitors and um, say thank you very much. And I look forward to coming back next year. And Susan also receives the first prize in the open section. Big thank you to all the people out there who just cheered me on as I was coming just up the final straight. 
by being getting pretty tired, so thanks very much. Next year's our 20th, and I think it's even going to be better. Yeah. As night falls, the town starts partying. This is Westport's biggest night of the year.